Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and today we are going into r slash Templar. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Oh dear. Stop memorizing my attack patterns. That's messed up. Who let you do that? You know what? I'm entering my second phase. Have fun with the choir arrangement of my I theme. Literally, um, water or fight. Beds. Beds are always fun. Oh dear. Sorry, but if your bed isn't against at least one wall, you're not valid. I used to think this post was suited because most people like both sides of the bed free, but then I realized some psychopaths put their beds like this. So not even the headboard against the wall. And this post is about these animals. I mean... We're ignoring the wall thing for just a second. This seems really painful a placement for a bed in general. Unless you plan on getting in blinds for those. Because like your bed is right by the window. So if you had your bed against the wall, which would probably be the window wall with a window right behind you, you just have the sun in your face. And if you had blinds on it, you'd have, have blinds right behind you. However, if you were to rotate 9 degrees and put it against the wall, all, all that, I would be e e fair enough. But also, please get blinds for your windows. I need to get blinds for my windows, too. A single person's bed is generally against two walls. A couple's bed is generally against one wall. And people with zero walls have zero fear of the dark or unseen with direct access to their head, and therefore cannot be human. Okay, the bed out, out in the middle of the room is bad, but have you considered only the footboard end against the wall? No, I hadn't. Why would you put that image into my head? Single people with two walls, you know, one uh, 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 across the top, one uh, across the side. It's actually how I have my bed. Couples. One wall across the headboard with room um, among the e e e sides. People who don't know fear with no walls. People who should be e feared. They're at only the foot part is against the wall. The thing is, I kind of sleep in a room that's pretty brightly lit when I was sleeping because I am absolutely terrified of the dark. I have the protection of the walls, but I'm still terrified. So Tumblr deleted my long rant while I was in the middle of writing it, so you're spared and will only get a summed up version. Long story short, your abs are supposed to be covered with a healthy, protective layer of fat. The shape Jason Momoa is in during his boobies is achieved by a diet designed to lower his body fat to unhealthy numbers, dehydrating him and enhancing his abs with makeup. This is what ripped muscular healthy per This is what a ripped muscular healthy person looks like on their off time. If you think this is a dad bod, for the love of everything that is holy. Shut up and absolutely never comment on a man's body ever again. I mean, heck, you can still see his V-line. What dad bot has that? Don't believe me? Google some bodybuilders who are, are off their contest diet. The men who literally make a living for having a, in defined muscles. For 360 days a year? They do not look like the way you think they do. 
during a bodybuilding contest, these men's body fat is under 7%. They're dehydrated and covered in a fake tan that helps the muscles show up. And it's literally only for that day, because it's extremely unhealthy. Same goes for actors who are known for being ripped. They're at their worst when they're filming, health-wise. This exact same stuff happened when it's been in Diesel a, a few years ago, with people getting a pop Arazi a shot of his beer belly. And I'm generally and I'm generally worried of the young men who grew up who grow up in this society thinking being muscular means having defined abs 24-7. Jason Mo o Omoa looks ripped and healthy. Y'all are just blind with unrealistic standards. The beauty standard for men is one that if achieved and maintained has a 100% chance of killing them in a matter of weeks or months. Yeah. Fake, I don't give a hecker. I saw you yearning. You ever see a character design so silly, kind of loops back around to being excellent again? Okay, is this character a snail? Who is this? What is this from? Oh, yeah. Hey guys, what do you think of my dinner? Choose your words carefully. That grenade looks like um, it might also be food or it might be um, a toy. Anyway, this post has one set of parentheses. This post has been enchanted with Smite 2 and Unbreaking. What are you doing to me? <laughs> I don't think OP e e wanted this. String identified. G A T T question mark C C A T A T A T T T A C A T T T A A G a T A G T. Closest match, Afogon Impervis Genome Assembly, a chromosome 5. Common name, Cardinal Fish. I still don't know what a Cardinal Fish is. What the heck is that fruit passion about? My parents trying to figure out what to get me for Christmas. <laughs> okay. How do I teach my body that the fight or flight response is supposed to be for life or death situations and not social interactions? Xanax! Or get into an actual fight to the death to gain perspective? Uh, hmm. No. I don't think that getting into fights to death is a very good idea. <sighs> oh dear. Tumblr and dunking on well established authors. Wait, did I accidentally scroll past something? Probably not. I'm terrified that I'm actually super bad at writing, and if I ever publish something, it'll be on, like, I don't know, Lang Leave or Rupee Cars level. God, please save me from that. Don't worry, chances are God will save you from being the kind of author I am. You'll probably never have to endure the agony of selling hundreds of thousands of books, traveling the world, or having the things you write matter to millions of people. Just want to put your mind at rest. Wow. 
get off Tumblr and write another collection of mediocre or youth poetry and stop bullying high schoolers online. You thin skinned hack. Like, actually, this this is a young writer who doesn't know what to freaking. Who, who's scared of becoming in, in, in vague without knowing what they're, what they're really doing. And here you are just making fun of them. Like, you are an accomplished writer. I'm quite sure you have better things to do with your time than getting on Tumblr and making fun of someone who isn't and experienced in, in writing like you are. God, I had to look, look up who that is and a dangerous recipe to love him is something I hold highly suspicious. Like having something so very delicious than being told to do the dishes. Did she delete her account because people flamed her as so bad? Lang has leave the building. My goodness. Oh, whoops. Some humans would do anything to see if it was possible to do it. If you put a large switch in some cave somewhere with a sign on it it's saying, And the world switch, please do not touch. The paint wouldn't even have time to dry. This is Terry Pratchett, the Thief of Time. And there's a sign, I, I, Edward Coley, said the Dean. You have read it, I assume. You know, the sign which says, do not, under any circumstances, open this door? Of course I've read it, said Riccoli. Why do you think I, I want it open? Uh, why? said the lecturer in recent ruins. I, to see why, it, why, why they want it shut, of course. This exchange contains almost all you need to know about human civilization. At least, those bits of it that are now under the sea, fenced off, or still smoking. Terry Pratchett, Hogfather. Alright. This one, and, um, what's next? Okay, this one. I think these are good to end on. Realizing cis women also struggle with passing a lot of times and have a lot of the same issues with dysphoria trans women have, issues with putting on or losing weight, dissatisfied with bus size, not feeling feminine enough, etc., has done a lot to combat dysphoria for me because it's like, wow, we really have a lot more in common than we have in difference, huh? Tariffs are starting to find this post and I gotta say, Tariff's getting mad at a post that explicitly acknowledges cis women's struggles and with notes full of cis women agreeing and talking about their own struggles and experiences really speaks volumes about how anti-feminist and frankly misogynistic Tariffs really are. That they don't even give a crap about cis women's struggles and experiences. Tariffs. I'll crap on a thousand cis women before I respect trans people. Literally. I mean, the whole entire cis women... No, I mean, TERFs calling, um... Trans people, like... Predatory, and then and calling... They call trans women predatory, and then call trans men confused has always bugged me and always had me thinking that uh, there's a lot of misogyny in that group and 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 the, uh, uh, an idea because there is a lot of misogyny in it anyway comment down below 
Does it say, got clowns, cloth gowns, got gowns, or cloth clowns? Which one did you misread it as? Everyone kind of, uh, um, I feel like the most common and most obvious is goth clowns, but I have a few. But it's supposed to say cloth gowns. And I'm so glad we all collectively misread this. Alright, that was r slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!